<laughs> Eric Dickerson, my friend. Yes, sir. I want to congratulate you on wrecking my <laughs> Dallas Cowboys season. I want to congratulate you on being one of the shrewdest operators I have ever encountered because you even pulled the wool right over my eyes. The last time you sat in that seat, two weeks ago, you broke the news that you had been invited by Zeke's agent to go down to Cabo San Lucas and to counsel young Zeke on how to handle himself on and off the field. And I was mesmerized. I was spellbound. And you <laughs> divulged to our huge audience here on Undisputed that, gee, Zeke even said he was going to go for 200-plus against the Seattle Seahawks in his return. And you said, gee, I bet him. No, there's no way you're going to go for 200. I'll bet you a game-worn jersey. You're a Hall of Famer, so that's a pretty valuable jersey that you have, that number 28 against one of Zeke's game-worn jerseys. And I got so caught up in, because I love this show, two that nine. you were... 2-9. 2-9. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll correct that later. Go ahead. Two nine. I'm thinking of Marshall Falk. 2-9. Yeah. But I got so caught up in the news that you were breaking that I lost sight of the fact that not until Joe Buck said during the Fox telecast, Zeke was not very happy that you went public with the bet because you actually rigged the bet on your behalf because clearly the Seattle Seahawks, as injured as they might be, are still a very proud bunch. And they can play angry about as well as anybody in the National Football League. And so you pushed all the buttons in the Seattle locker room. They were on fire to stop Ezekiel Elliott and help you win your bet because you used your public platform here on Undisputed and other platforms that you have to sabotage him in the game against <laughs> the Seattle Seahawks, the game I had to win to stay alive for the playoffs. This was it. I felt so good about it. And I realized when Joe Buck said that, he got me. It's E.D., at work, shrewd operator, you, you, you broke the unwritten rule. What is said in Cabo stays in Cabo. I, you I, can't I, go public with that. Okay. How can you defend this? You realize you burned the bridge to Zeke. He's not going to talk to you anymore, right? <laughs> is, are you finished? I'm, I'm just getting started. Uh, well, look, I, I'll say this. I, well, first, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I, oh, just, it's I, just I was just talking. It's just you, you, you asked me, you know, how, how did it go down in Kyle? Yeah. you trying to tell No, you, you, you I, volunteered. I, I was, I was to, I we didn't you. know. I was just trying to tell you how it went. I know for a fact that when you say something, that, you know, that probably the other team is going to probably look at it. Probably. Yeah, they probably look yeah. at it. You know, I'm not a cowboy lover, <laughs> as we know. Um, look, y'all wasn't going to make the playoffs, no. Yes, we were. No, you wouldn't. Yep. No, you wouldn't. Yep. You know, and, and I, that's what I told Zeke. I said, look. Why don't we just make it 150 or 170? Let's just cut it back. No, I want to. And I did not know that y'all were playing the Seahawks. I don't know the Cowboys schedule. Mm. I thought maybe y'all playing somebody like, you know, the Browns or the Cardinals mm. or somebody. <laughs> then I saw Seahawks. I'm like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to win this bet. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to win this bet. Mm. So um, in my defense, I plead the fifth. I did not know that y'all were playing the Seahawks, and I didn't know that that was going to cause that kind of problem. I, you know, I didn't know the Seahawks were going to come out and play like that. I mean... You know? But you had to know that, that, again, to make your bet far more winnable, if you go public with the bet, so the Seahawks you, are not going to like so it. So let me ask you this you question. Play. Okay, let me ask you this question. Let's just say I didn't. N nothing was said. You think he was still going to go for 200 yards? Be honest now. I mean, if they'd hand him Be the ball, honest. you know, like in the like second 50 half. Times? He had 73 at halftime, so he had a chance, right? That's what they call it, halftime adjustment. Oh. Halftime oh. adjustment. But do you really think he's going to go? You know what? I think he would have had a far better chance. All I read after the game was quote after quote from Bobby Wagner, who can play angry about as well as anybody. We were not going <laughs> to let him do this. And that little, what was his name, uh, little Coleman? Oh, yeah. He picks that <laughs> off, and he runs and jumps in the Salvation <laughs> Army pot because they were all geared to stop Zeke. He was sending a, a message. Yeah, you ain't going to do it to us on national TV in your house.